Hi. Uh, welcome to East Shore Drive News Network. I'm your host, this is, uh, Max Millian, Broham Channel Land. I'm your ho other host, Zach Cashew. We have news. Peace was finally returned to IHS last week as a student finally found her lost stuffed animal hamster. A few popular Instagram accounts covered the incident as well, including discussion page Stressed at IHS and IHS fashion star and celebrity Jack Stone. It has been speculated that the hamster was living in a locker room for a significant amount of time. The stuffed rodent was found and returned upon its second notice of its disappearance. By the way, this is not an April Fool's story. This actually happened. And we here at Lake Street News are glad that the owner got their hamster back. I, for one, believe that it is an example of passion and love for material possessions of importance, no matter how big or small. In other news, Ithaca High School announced several new classes for the 2024 to 2025 school year, including Intro to Norwegian Airplane Mechanics, Underwater Basket Weaving, German Polka History, General Rizics, Advanced Demonology, and Semi-Astronomical Hyperspace Geography 101. When asked why he made these changes, Mr. Shomo went on record stating, I don't know, I just felt like it. Please visit the Ithaca City School District website for more information on these amazing new classes. We are proud to announce Ithaca's very own Lavelle Ball team won last week's big game. While, seeming, while the game seemingly started with a flamp when Caroline Elementary's team managed to catch the handle in four seconds, we were able to run the bases and score a field goal without being tagged by the tag man in the fifth quarter. Combined with Caroline and LACS fighting over which school is better and ignoring Stand the game, the you're able to get 15 points for the end right of the game. The Please wear the outfit if possible. Make the outfit have reverb tomorrow to celebrate. Go a little red. Recently, tremors and severe power fluctuations around West State Street led to investigations by Ithaca police that discovered something shocking. It was found that the beloved Ithaca Commons is being used to cover a large robot, reportedly able to send long-distance signals and shoot heat-guided missiles, among other things. This giant robot was found alongside a lab with mysterious papers suggesting that there are many other bases built by the same group of people. This previously unknown cult slash organization is allegedly led by street musician slash politician William Metro, as one document was dedicated to spreading campaign posters for him. More news on this next week, such as a relation to the decline of the Ithaca Mall. This just in, it has been rumored by IHS's very own whistleblowing club that the building, known as Upstairs K, which has now been confirmed as the location of the Esperanto and other obscure languages wing, has recently been finished. We've also uncovered the mystery of why the IHS admin team is so gosh darn frickin' weird. Turns out, the administration at this school uses the upstairs K bathroom space to perform several anti-ethical satanic rituals, such as pair budget, poor budget splurging, paying ransom money to the sports teams, and mind controlling all staff to not deal with actual problematic problems that are problematic at the school, which honestly has a lot of problems. We here at LSN are declaring war on the admin team for their practices in Upstairs K, and will soon be using what little money we have to send a SWAT team over to deal with the situation accordingly. There we go. In other news, D building disappeared last weekend. Ithaca police are still investigating, but they suspect local man Jonathan Johnny Boy Shawnye, a local man who they suspect used a forklift and a lot of Elmer's crazy glue. When asked about the situation, local police chief Thomas Kelly said, I don't know, lol. Anyways, here's some interviews from totally real IHS students about how they feel about the sudden disappearance. Well, I, I, I think the disappearance of the building is very, very sad indeed. I, I do hope that the, uh, uh, what do Americans say? Uh, Paul Paul, uh, catch this dastardly criminal, uh, who stole the D building. As a micro celebrity here at Ithaca High School, I firmly believe that we shall overcome the collaborative properties of Oculus Solutions and how stoichiometrically high molar concentrations of the solute depress the freezing temperature, thus defining the circumference of every potato in Idaho, therefore determining the current economic state of Latvia. What? It's not what this story is about? Oh. Well... <laughs> Quite frankly, I think y'all be overreacting. Because when the, the, the gym building at my old school in Texas disappeared, I, I, I just turned it, it turned out to be a prank pulled by the baseball kids. But, man, those racists, I would have. You, would, you wouldn't happen to have some hot sauce. I'm a little hungry. Oh, D building disappeared? Whatever, nobody goes there, anyways. Wow, that was really heartwarming. 
Breaking news! Lake Street News has just been canceled by the school admin. Dr. Brown, the leader of the cancellation, stated that there are multiple reasons for this cancellation, including the large amount of fake news, reporting news weeks late at a time, declaring war against admin, and quote that, unlike IHS Connects, no one even watches Lake Street News anyways. Unquote. Following this cancellation, Mr. Shine announced his role as Frodo Baggins in an upcoming Lord of the Rings spinoff, which will release on December 33rd next year. Breaking news. As we speak, it seems that Miss Hardesty is very unhappy with the IHS whistleblowing club's revealing of the rituals in Upstairs K, and she has revealed her final boss form as a half-robot, half-lizard, half-human cyborg. She is now rampaging through IHS's very own whistleblowing club, causing innumerable casualties in a rage. It seems like she is finally letting out all of her pent up in your arm to the whistleblowers and perhaps other clubs, the IHS. Although we've received the news that she is now coming our way. I think we have to wrap it up for today. I hope we see you next week. If not, TV Production Club had a good run before being stomped down in Mr. Cyborg Estes' fury and the Bill's hatred of the program. Now buzz off! Yeah, go away!